Emily, when are you coming back home? Get back here right now. Wait, what? But you told me to go shopping. That's why I'm out? I need you here right now. Your grandma won't stop calling me to take her to the bathroom. Can you come back and do it for me? Hurry before she has an accident. But I'm almost at the supermarket. I don't want to have to go all the way back just to take her to the bathroom and then come back out again to go shopping. Can't you take her to the bathroom yourself? It's not that difficult. Why should I have to do it? You have the day off from school. I shouldn't have to do it. But grandma needs to go to the bathroom right now. Can't you at least help her? <sighs> no. Why would I do that? She's your mother. Can't you be a little kinder to her and help her out? I am being kind. She's lucky she gets to stay in this house instead of being sent to a nursing home. Don't be so selfish and come back home right now. Take your grandma to the bathroom. Or are you going to talk back to me? No, I'm not going to talk back. Just please don't get so angry. Don't forget who raised you. You better not go against me and do what I tell you to. Sure, you raised me. But now I'm doing all the housework and taking care of grandma. But I'm the one paying for all the meals and everything else. No, you're paying for it with grandma's savings and pension money. I know you're lying, mom. Ugh, you're getting on my nerves. There are things you can and cannot say. You should learn that, young lady. No dinner for you tonight. Don't even think about taking a bite. But I'm the one making dinner. That's not fair. Yes, and you still don't get to eat it because you're being so insolent. You've become such a handful since you turned 14. Well, now that I'm old enough to think for myself, I've been realizing how much you've been lying to me. And you never do anything to help me or grandma. You just do your own thing and never care about us. I'm looking after your grandma while you're at school. How dare you say that to me? See how ungrateful you're being. You hire a caretaker to come in while I'm at school. You're not really looking after her. And who has to call and arrange for the caretaker to come? Me! Ugh, she's yelling at me again to take her to the bathroom. She won't stop. Come back home right now, Emily. I yelled at her to be quiet, but she just keeps calling me. So annoying. I'm trying to hurry, but I have to get the groceries first or else we won't have anything for dinner. I'll be back right after I'm done shopping. So can you just take her to the bathroom? Oh, no, it's okay. She has her diaper on. She can just use it and you can change it for her when you come back. But she's asking you to take her to the bathroom. Can't you help her? No, it's fine. Her Alzheimer's is getting worse and she's forgetting more and more. I'm sure she won't even remember this. How can you say that? Grandma may forget things sometimes, but she still remembers a lot. What's wrong with using the diaper? Many elderly people use them. I'm sure she'll be okay as long as you change it for her when you come back. It's better than not having the diaper on, but she wants to go to the bathroom. Can't you respect her wishes and help her out? Please, take her to the bathroom. No, she's fine. Just go get the groceries like you said you would. <sighs> fine. I'll come back home now and go shopping later. Can you tell Grandma that I'll be back soon? Do you think she can wait until I come back? Fine, I'll tell her. But she'll be fine anyways because she's wearing a diaper. You're so square, Emily. I don't know where you get that from. You really are a strange person. Are you just trying to be a goody two-shoes so that someone will love you? I wouldn't be working so hard if I were you. Such a waste of time and energy. Hey, Mom, are you going to need dinner tonight? I'm wondering how much pasta I should cook. I don't know what time you're coming back tonight. What time are you coming back? Oh, I won't need dinner. I'll be back around midnight or maybe in the morning. Okay. I already gave a bath to Grandma. The caretaker helped me do it before she left, even though it was already time for her to go. She's really nice. She also gave me advice about Grandma, so I'll tell you later. You already heard them from her, so what's the point of telling them to me? I don't need to know any advice. But she told me this really convenient way of holding Grandma up. I think you should know too, just in case. Though it's good enough that you know how to do it since I won't be doing it. I don't have to know. All right. I have a favor to ask you, Mom. Is it all right if I tell you about it now? What is it? If you want money, I'm not giving you any. Well, I might need a little bit of money, but not a lot. I swear. It's about this coming Saturday. My friends are going out to the movies, and I want to go with them. It's the movie I really want to see. So can I go with them? I'll also need money to take the bus and watch the movie. What? No! Who's gonna take care of your grandma on a Saturday? You're the only one who can take care of her, so you can't go! Forget about the movie, you're not going anywhere! I'll only be out for three hours, so please, will you let me go? No, you're not allowed! You have to stay at home and take care of grandma. If you want to watch a movie, you can watch it at home. The movie should be coming out on DVD in about half a year. Just wait until then and watch it at home! No, it's not like that. 
I want to go with my friends and have fun with them. Sure, I really want to watch the movie too, but I want to be able to watch it with my friends and talk about it with them afterwards. You have a responsibility to fulfill. You can't just let your grandma be all alone at home. Don't you care for your grandma's well-being? That's why I'm asking you to take care of her instead of me. Is that too much to ask? I really like the friends I have now, and I want to go out with them. I'll come straight back home from school every day, and I'll be home to take care of grandma whenever you have to go out. So please, will you let me go out just this once? I won't ask you to let me go out again for a long while. So please, can I go? Oh, stop being so stubborn. I already said no. How many times are you going to make me say that? Plus, I'm not giving you any money just to see a movie on the big screen once. You can just buy the DVD and watch it as many times as you want at home, without leaving your grandma's side. Don't cause me trouble just because you want to go and have fun. That's just not responsible. But I'm always taking care of grandma. Can't we switch roles sometimes? You always go out drinking with your friends without asking me if I'm fine taking care of grandma. You just go. I'll give you back the money when I'm able to get a job and work. So can I borrow about $20 from you? No, I'm not letting you borrow any money. And you're not allowed to get a job until grandma passes away. She still needs you. I'm a busy adult. You're just a kid with plenty of time and energy in your hands. I need to go drinking and let go of all the stress that I get from raising you and dealing with your grandma. I don't have as much time I can spare. Like you do. So I need my free time more than you do. I think I'm a lot busier than you are. You never do anything around the house or take care of grandma. Ugh, stop getting on my nerves. You're getting really annoying these days. You need to learn to know when to stop talking. I'm just saying you don't do anything around the house. I'm not trying to annoy you. You should be more grateful that I raised you this far. I could have put you in an orphanage, but I didn't. I tried my best to raise you on my own. The least you can do in return is to do stuff around the house and take care of your grandma. I want you to leave the house after grandma passes away. I'm not taking care of an annoying teenager. What? You're kicking me out of the house after grandma dies? Are you serious? Since you say you do everything, you can go off on your own and do everything for yourself. You're already 14 years old. You can get a job and make money for yourself. You can live on your own, right? Since you say that I'm not doing anything, you don't need me anymore. Then you don't need a parent anymore and can live an independent life on your own. That's not what I meant. I can't believe you really want me out of the house. You really don't want me to be around you. Is that why? That's because you're being so selfish and stubborn. Who would want to be with someone like that? Or do you still want to live with your mommy? <laughs> or are you not so mature and as independent as you thought? Fine. I won't depend on you anymore. It's not like I was getting any support from you anyways. I do everything around the house, and the expenses that you say you pay for are paid with grandma's money. You're not doing anything as a parent to me anymore. I'll leave this house after grandma passes away. Great. I'll have one less thing to worry about. I tried my best to raise you into a good human being ever since your father passed away. Ugh, but it didn't pay off. You grew up to be so stubborn and selfish. You're not grateful at all for everything I've done for you. Don't come crying to me after you leave the house. I won't. I'll never come to you for help or anything. It's not like I depend on you for anything anyways. So you really think you can make it on your own? Then show me. I'm looking forward to seeing you crying, asking help from me. You should pray that your grandma lives as long as possible. <laughs> I cleaned grandma's room. I threw everything away like you told me to. Good. Then your job here is done. You can leave any time now. Who knew your grandma would pass away like that after catching a cold? You must be happy now. You're free to do anything you want. You don't have to be stuck with her anymore. How can you say that? Aren't you sad that your mother died? Of course I'm sad. She was my mother. But you went drinking with your friends right after the funeral was over. Well, I had to go drinking to cheer myself up. You'll understand when you're older and start drinking. That's just how adults are. That's how you are all the time. You go drinking all the time. <sighs> Anyways, did you pack your stuff? Are you ready to leave? Don't tell me you forgot about the promise you made. No, I remember. You want me out of the house now that Grandma has passed away. Yes, exactly. Make sure to leave by the time I come back home. I don't want to see your face or any of your stuff lying around the house. That's what I was going to do. You won't see me here by the time you're back, or any of my stuff there. Not that I had a lot of my belongings there to begin with. They're all packed already. So, you have your heart set. I'm glad you're not going back on your word. 
I thought I'd have to physically kick you out of the house if you were going to beg me to stay. Yeah, right. As if I wanted to stay there any longer now that the only person I cared for is gone. I'm not going to depend on you in any way anymore. And I don't even want to see you anymore. <laughs> I'm glad I won't be seeing you either. So you already have a place to go. Or are you going to be camping outside? Don't become homeless and go on causing troubles to other people. But I guess I don't mind as long as you don't come to me with your troubles. No, I won't be camping or sleeping on the streets. I'm going to Grandma's. Oh, what are you saying? Have you lost your mind? Or are you having a hard time accepting she's gone? What are you really thinking of doing? You're not thinking of ending your life, are you? I don't mean that, Grandma. I'm going to my other Grandma's place. You mean your Grandma from your dad's side? Grandma Jenny? Yes. That's the grandma I'm talking about. Since when were you in touch with her? You never really met before, have you? Ever since I started high school. She sent me a letter congratulating me on a new start. Apparently, she tried sending me letters a number of times before, but you always threw them away before I got to see them. But you stopped doing things around the house, so you didn't even notice that I got a letter from her. I've been in touch with her since then. I see. So that's your plan. No wonder why you didn't seem worried at all about moving out. So... You're depending on someone in the end. You're still so immature. I'm still underage. I'm not supposed to live on my own yet. I don't think there is anything wrong with depending on someone. I'm still supposed to be taken care of by a responsible adult. <laughs> yeah, sure. You're just a brat acting against me, but you're still a baby who needs to be taken care of. I don't want to see you ever again. So please, don't think you'll see me ever again. Oh, you think I'd get all lonely and end up wanting to see you? <laughs> That's not gonna happen! So don't worry. I'm not gonna miss you at all. And I'll be free to do whatever I want to do. I won't have to take care of my mother or you ever again. This is amazing! <laughs> I'm finally free! I'm glad you feel that way. I was afraid you'd change your mind and ask me to stay. Goodbye, mother. Thanks for everything, but don't contact me ever again. Emily, what's going on? Why are you getting all the inheritance and none is left for me? I told you to never contact me again. Why are you messaging me? I don't care what you told me. Give me everything you inherited. I'm your grandma's daughter. I should be receiving it all, not you. Have you not asked a lawyer about it first? Grandma said she didn't want to leave any inheritance to you. That's what she wrote on her will. But I'm her daughter. I have the right to receive the inheritance even if it doesn't say so on the will. She didn't want to leave any to you. That's what she wrote on her will. That's why you're not getting any. When did she even write that? I made her write the will with me. She definitely wrote that she was leaving it all for me. She decided to rewrite it with me because she got disappointed and fed up with you. You wouldn't take her to the bathroom when she asked you. You'd yell at her to shut up for asking you to do favors. She wrote all the reasons why she didn't want to leave any inheritance to you anymore. So what if she wrote that on her will? Who's going to believe that you wrote it with her? The will I made her write is valid. Yours is not. I also had a lawyer present to write the will. This will is valid. Yours is no longer valid. The caretakers also testify that you treated her badly. Their testimonies count as evidence. So you should give up on getting the inheritance. You knew you were getting the inheritance. That's why you didn't refuse when I told you to leave the house, you little schemer. How dare you betray the parent who raised you? You told me to leave, so I agreed. That's all. Actually, I didn't know that I was receiving all the inheritance then. She wrote the will sometime after that. You made her write the will so that you'd receive all of it, didn't you? No. All I did was call the lawyer while you're not around so she could write a new will. All I did was testify and give evidence of your bad behavior. Grandma knew that you'd treat me even worse if she left the house. So that's why she stayed with us until the end, so that I'd be safe. She said she was so worried about what might happen to me after she's gone, so she left everything she had for me. That woman! It just goes to show how terribly you treated us. You should have treated us nicer. You're terrible. You're an awful child. I should have just thrown you into the orphanage if I knew you'd turn out like this. I can't believe this. You're so ungrateful. I can't believe it either, how ungrateful you are. You used up so much of grandma's savings and pension money, but you never took care of her. You instead neglected her and yelled terrible things. You only treated her nice in the beginning when her Alzheimer's wasn't so bad yet. Then after her memory started getting worse, you started saying things like you were going to put her in the nursing home. You come back home right now. 
I'm still your parent. I have custody over you. What? You want me to come back? You shouldn't be living apart from your mother. But you told me to leave the house. Now you're wanting me back? What made you change your mind? Well, the situation has changed. You're still underage, so you need to be taken care of by me. You're not going to fool me again. I'm not coming back to your house. Then I'll have to call the police saying that my daughter won't come home. Go ahead. You might get caught by the police, though. I told a child protection social worker about you. All about what you've done to me and Grandma. I told them about how I don't want to live with you anymore. They should be contacting you soon for child abuse and neglect. What? You talked to a social worker? I can't believe you did that! I didn't want to do this. I wish I didn't have to do this, Mother. I wished I had a decent mother who loved me and treated me well. But I had to do this to protect myself and my other grandma. You made me take care of grandma most of the time. When the caretaker couldn't come, you made me take the day off from school just so I'd take care of grandma. And you made me do all the house chores too. You wouldn't even let me go out with my friends while you went drinking with yours. So what? I deserve to go drinking. I've had a tough life and I need to de-stress. What do you have to stress over? You're just a child with no real responsibilities. You have no right to be my parent. You stopped being my parent after I started going to grammar school. You told me to do everything by myself. Grocery shopping, making food for myself, clean. Then from around when I started high school, you started to make me take care of grandma, which I didn't mind doing because I loved her. But you didn't fulfill your role as a parent, so I won't be coming back to you. I know that all you want is the inheritance. You don't really want me back. Listen, Emily. I had a hard time after your dad passed away. It was not easy raising you all on my own and then your grandma started needing to be taken care of. I was a housewife until your dad passed away and I suddenly had to get a job for us to survive while taking care of you and things around the house. Then your grandmother started getting sick and so she came to our house. That was just too much burden on me all at once. That's why she was supposed to go to the nursing home at first. But you didn't let her go so that you could use her money. All I have left in my family is you. Can you please come back? My only family was grandma. Now I have my grandparents from dad's side. They treat me so well. I finally now understand that this is how I should have been treated all along. Now I'm so happy to be where I am, but I'm also so sad for my past. I wish I had a better mother. But they've been absent your whole life. You're saying they're better? Yes. Plus they were absent only because you stopped them from contacting me. I don't ever want to talk to or see you ever again. That's what I really thought. Especially after having spent some time with my grandparents. You have no idea how hard the life I had before with you was. I was so lonely taking care of grandma all by myself and you never helped me. You never let me hang out with my friends after school or on weekends. You never even handed me any allowance. But you were able to live without getting hungry. You always had a roof over your head. Yeah, with grandma's money. I don't even remember the last time you went to work. All you did was boss us around and go drinking with your friends. Emily, I want to restart my life as your mother. I won't let you struggle in life anymore. So give me a second chance, please. You never changed, no matter how many times I tried to get you to. How am I supposed to believe you're going to change this time? If you really are determined to change, come back after you change. But hey, I never put you in an orphanage even though I could have during the hard times. Why won't you understand that I gave all I could? I'm telling you that you can live with me again. So come back, please. But you also told me to leave. So I'm not coming back. Especially after knowing that you were so happy when I left. You were enjoying how free you are now. I feel the same as you do. I feel so free without you around. Why would I want you back in my life? After my mother's failed attempt to regain custody, she was barred from seeing me until I expressed a desire to meet her again. She had spent most of grandma's savings, unaware that there was more stashed away in another account. When grandma passed away, the account was frozen, leaving my mother penniless and in dire need of a job. She tried reaching out to me, lamenting about her struggles with rent, but I directed her to my social worker and blocked her. Since then, it's been radio silence. As for me, I found solace with my paternal grandparents. Initially, I felt like an intruder, but they welcomed me with open arms. Now, I attend school regularly and even have time to hang out with friends. Thanks to the inheritance grandma left me, I can afford university once I graduate from high school. From here on out, I'm living life on my terms. My dream is to become a beacon of hope for troubled kids like myself. 
I aspire to be a social worker who can shield children from abusive families and provide them with the love they deserve.